If I asked you to picture an animal perfectly adapted to living in the desert, you'd probably be thinking camel, right? How about an adax? What's an adax? Good question. They're one of the rarest antelopes on the planet. They regularly brave the Saharan desert. And in this episode of RZSS Goes Wild Genes, we're going to be finding out how our team are using conservation genetic data to help save this critically endangered antelope. We like to specialise in the conservation of weird, wonderful and rare species here at RZSS. So first things first, what is an adax and what makes it so special? To help me out, we're going to talk to someone who knows way more about adax than I do, Dr. Cara Dix, one of our conservation genetics specialists. Adax are really large antelope that live in the desert. They are probably the most desert specialist antelope that exists. Um, they have huge spirally horns. They have huge splayed feet, which helps them move over the sand dunes really easily. They get most of the water that they need from their food, so they don't have to go hunting for water holes. They tend to move overnight, especially in the summer, because this allows them to avoid the heat of the day. They tend to have paler coats in the summer um, to reflect the heat, but slightly darker coats in the winter, which helps them keep warm. And overall, they're just super adapted to the desert. Adax used to be found right across North Africa, but unfortunately, due to a combination of hunting, competition with livestock, drought due to climate change, and importantly, oil exploration, by 2016, adax were thought to be extinct in the wild. High-tech aerial surveys found no evidence of wild living adax at all, but extensive ground surveys and conversations with local residents helped unearth three adax still living in the wild. The species was not extinct after all. Then, in 2019, a dozen more wild living adax were uncovered living in the same location, the largest herd seen in the past 10 years. But there are still fewer than 50 adax living in the wild, making them a critically endangered species. Although adax are extremely rare in the wild, there are over 5,000 adax in zoos and on ranches across the US, Europe, and in the Arab Emirates. These captive populations are really important sources for potential reintroductions of adax back into the wild. For these reintroductions to be successful in the long term, we need to ensure that these captive populations have as much genetic diversity as possible. Measuring the genetic diversity in captive populations of adax and adax in the wild is really important for managing their conservation. So genetic diversity is what makes me me and you you. So for example, I have blue eyes and my friend might have brown eyes and this is all down to genetic diversity. As populations get smaller, they tend to lose genetic diversity and this puts them at risk of not being able to adapt to a changing environment, for example, climate change, or to be able to resist a disease that's threatening that population. And this puts them at greater risk of extinction. To measure genetic diversity, we first need some samples from some animals. From captive animals, we can get samples like blood or tissue um, during veterinary procedures. Um, but we can't get that sort of material from wild animals, so we use their poo. All adax samples, whether they're blood or poo, get sent here to our Wild Genes lab, where our technicians, Jen and Jal, extract DNA from the samples and then amplify the bits of DNA that we're interested in looking at to measure genetic diversity. Once we have our genetic data, it's over to Cara to analyse them. We use thousands of genetic markers to measure diversity both within the individuals and the populations. And this allows us to make some recommendations to conservation practitioners as to how to manage these populations to ensure their long-term survival. We want to understand how much genetic diversity exists in the captive population so that we can use that information to pick animals um, for reintroduction um, in order to maximise genetic diversity in that population that's reintroduced. Adax are just one example of the incredible work that our Wild Genes team do. And next time you visit Edinburgh Zoo, make sure you stop by our new Wild Genes walkway, where you can find out all about the team, the species they work on, and the incredible things they're doing to help make sure we have these species far into the future.